Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how we protect our hives from robbing bees. We've got a huge problem here in the central California foothills with robbing bees. We never had a problem ever when we lived down in the valley. And when we moved up here with our four story hive, it got robbed blind. And it took us a while before we realized what was happening because it never we had never experienced it before. And once we realized it, we tried all these different things. We contacted so many different beekeepers who suggested a bunch of different things that were really great suggestions, but it was so far gone that it didn't matter. They were, they were not going to be safe. So um, basically, we after we lost that hive, we determined that we needed to find something that was going to save our newbies that we got from robbers. And so we found these great... Um, entrance reducers essentially that are from Blue Sky Beekeeping Supply. It's an anti-robbing screen and it is amazing. Our hives have responded so well with these screens. We've had them for about two years now and we use them on all of our, all of our hives no matter what time of year it is. And it really seems to help them uh, survive all these robbing bees because our nectar dearth hits pretty early in the year as you guys can see we are in June still and it all the grass is starting to die already so it gets very hot here the nectar dearth hits pretty early and so a lot of native honeybees and yellow jackets come and take advantage of our hives so I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around and show you guys these anti-robbing screens uh, that way you guys can see how they work and see if that would be something that would help be helpful for you and your hives but I will tell you right now from experience I've been using them from two years now and they are incredible so let me go ahead and show you guys those now so this is the anti-robbing screen here and so it has this vented area right here so that uh, airflow can get in and out of the hive and it won't overheat that's one of the features that i really love so that means that this entire area down here where they would normally go into the hive is completely open so that they can get nice and good airflow in and out of the hive there won't be a ton of moisture that builds up in there um, and then essentially they've got two ways of getting into the hive over here and over here i usually keep one blocked off until their numbers are huge and then I'll pull out I'll open up this side over here but essentially what this is going to do is this is going to allow their bees to protect a smaller entrance so that they can keep out all of those robber bees if you have an entrance completely open like this essentially there's never going to be enough numbers in your hive that's going to be able to outnumber the amount of robber bees that are out in this world there are i mean millions and millions of native honeybees millions upon millions of yellow jackets and there will be way more of them than there will ever be of your own bees so by allowing them um kind of a, a better defense system you're giving them a better chance at surviving so essentially I make it so that it's only the width of one bee. Um, and so they've got a certain amount of numbers that are their soldiers. These soldiers are gonna protect this entrance so that robber bees cannot get in there and go inside and start stealing their honey, their, their pollen, and start eating their larvae because yellow jackets will literally eat the baby's heads right out of the cells. Um, and so essentially, yeah, so, they have a better chance at protecting because a robber bee um, is very smart. They, if they've got this whole area right here, they know that there's only a certain amount of soldiers. Those soldiers are gonna fight, um, you know, the yellow jackets and take those soldiers, those yellow jackets are essentially, um, they're suicide robbers. So they know that their mission there is to open up the entrance so that the other robber bees can get in there and steal. So they're gonna come in here, they're gonna take all of our soldiers away from the entrance. They're gonna be over here tumbling on the ground, fighting each other, like literally you can see a dead yellow jacket right there. They're gonna be tumbling on the ground, fighting each other. Our honeybee is gonna sting that other yellow jacket or honeybee and kill it. But as you guys know, whenever a bee stings something, it dies itself. So eventually we're gonna lose all of our soldiers and there's still gonna be a ton of wild honeybees and yellow jackets. And eventually this hive is gonna get so weak 
from not having enough soldiers anymore that the queen will not be able to protect her babies. She'll see that her babies are getting eaten. Mm -hmm. She'll see that all of her honey is being eaten. Mm -hmm. And she'll realize that this hive is no longer suitable for her her colony. And she's going to essentially abscond. She's going to take all of her bees and she's going to get the heck out of here. So these guys are just such a great asset to have especially if you deal with robbing all the time it's called homestead essentials but they are again they're um, you can buy them off of blue sky beekeeping supply i have not found any other um, anti-robbing screen that seems as good as this one now blue sky beekeeping supply they have this whole homestead essentials line and so this is like an anti-robbing top here and this is an anti-robbing bottom here and so essentially you do not need this if you have one of these but i put um this guy on here and i didn't have this one on there yet and i kind of noticed like that i was having still a little bit of robbing and so how these how this bottom works is essentially this whole bottom is open and so you've got these guys here and you can put it either this way and block them completely off and just keep one open or you can have all of them open um, and so that's what we did we just kept the center one open and then we kept the other ones blocked off but having that many entrances was just way too many and they were starting to get bombarded by yellow jackets so i was like oh no i took all of those out put them over here and then i just put this one on here because essentially whenever I get a new hive I buy all of the equipment that I think will be needed so essentially I always buy anti-robbing screen even if I you know don't know if the hive will need it I put it on there and it doesn't matter like even if the hive is not being robbed I always have an anti-robbing screen on all of my hives because I know that if they're at vulnerable at any point or if they're just kind of building their numbers, if they're a smaller hive, if they don't have as many soldiers, they are going to get robbed um, and it's going to happen. So that's what we do. We always keep them on 100% all year long um, and it really gives our bees a fighting chance. And because they've got that beautiful vented bottom, you never have to worry about them overheating or not getting the right amount of moisture out. Having that vented bottom always allows them to kind of keep their hive open and um, vented. So I hope that this video was very helpful for you guys. If you have any questions or anything, please feel free to leave them down below. I would love to help you out and answer anything. Um, I'm no expert, but I just kind of go off of what I know. Here, look, there's a yellow jacket right there. And it just tried to get into the front and it saw that it, it had no way to get in. And it just like flew off. But uh, I wish I could see an attempted robbery in action for you guys so you guys can see how well these babies defend their hive now with this guy.